Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at what reciprocal rank fusion or simply reciprocal rank is and why it matters uh, when it comes to hybrid search. This video is part of the series called Build Your Own Web Search. So if you haven't seen the previous videos, I highly recommend you take a look at those. So let's get started. In the previous video, we have seen uh, that we used a ranker called BM25 and we used another one, Semantic Ranker, and we combined them using reciprocal rank fusion inside Vespa AI infrastructure. And in the end, it gave us some kind of like global ranking. So if you remember, we used Semantic Ranker to do the first phase ranking and then combine and then take the top 1000 results and then combine it uh, with BM25 Ranker using uh, reciprocal rank fusion. So in so what happens is like each model is giving you a list of ranked documents. So like rank one is doc A, rank two is doc B, rank three is doc C using the BM25. And similarly C, A and D for the semantic ranker. So for the same query, these two ranking functions can give you different results. So they can they can often disagree. And reciprocal rank fusion, it says if a document ranks high in any of the lists, it should get a good overall score. So here you can see my global ranking is a little bit different from uh, ranking of BM25 and uh, the semantic ranker. So RRF or reciprocal rank fusion is re just reward rewarding uh, being near the top of any of the lists. So how does it work? So uh, like, is there a formula or something? Yes, there is. And it's very simple. The reciprocal rank is uh, defined as one divided by K plus rank. So this is the reciprocal rank for a ranked document. So rank can be any position, one, two, three, and so on. And uh, K is just a factor. It's a small positive constant and it controls like how sharply we uh, discount the overall, uh, sorry, the lower ranks. So um, let's say if, if there is a document which is not retrieved by any of the ranking functions, then you just don't add a term for it. And uh, this is a summation. So if I have to, so we'll see, we'll see how it's calculated. But before, before we go there, why do we, why do we need to use such a system? It's very simple. So there is no learning needed. It's a very simple formula. This is model agnostic. So you can mix lexical ranking, dense ranking, neural network based rankers or anything you want. It's very robust. So it tends to perform very well compared to like a, a very complex fusion algorithm that you might come up with. And it's very common. So it has been in practice for uh, a long time and it's being used in modern information retrieval and uh, large language model based retrieval pipelines to fuse BM25 and uh, uh, dense uh, vector representations. So let's see how RR uh, reciprocal rank works in practice. So this is the same old previous slide. Uh, BM25, doc A, B, and C. Semantic ranker says doc C, A, and D. And these are the rankings produced by these two ranking functions for one given query. So we define uh, reciprocal rank for a document D as summation over all the uh, rankers and it's one over K plus rank of D. So if I, so we can easily take a look at uh, an example and it becomes much, much clear here. So if, if the reciprocal rank of A, if I have to calculate that it's, let's say K is 60. So 
for the BM25 ranker, this number becomes 1 over 60 plus 1, so 1 over 61. And A also exists in the second one. So uh, here it becomes 1 by 60 plus 2 because its rank is 2 in the second ranker. Similarly, like for B, B exists only in the first one. So that, that's all we use, 1 divided by 60 plus 2. So you get a number here. And similarly, we calculate for C and D. And no matter how many different kinds of rankers you have, this is the way you add. And D also appears like just once in uh, the semantic ranker. And it's at rank 3. So it, we say 1 over 60 plus 3. 1 over 63. And then we see all these numbers. And we see, OK, hey, uh, document A uh, has the highest number. So it goes to. Uh, rank 1 in the global ranking, uh, then we have document C, then we have B, and then we have D. So this is it. That's all you need to know in uh, reciprocal uh, ranking fusion. So if we look at an example like uh, what we did in the previous uh, video or, or the previous tutorial, so we had this bm25 text URL function, which takes bm25 of text, and adds 10% of BM25 of URL. And we just apply them both in the reciprocal rank fusion. Uh, sorry, not both. Uh, this function in reciprocal rank fusion function, which takes BM25 text URL and the closeness, which is your uh, uh, how close the text embedding of query are to the text uh, embedding of documents. And here we used uh, angular distance. So uh, like if you missed the previous one, you should definitely take a look at that. that. That's where we designed the whole hybrid ranking system. And uh, here we use function called reciprocal underscore rank underscore fusion. But you can also do reciprocal rank a comma k, where k is your constant, plus reciprocal rank b comma k, and so on. Or you can just do reciprocal rank fusion a, b, c. Uh, that's how you do it in Vespa. And uh, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for uh, reciprocal rank fusion. There's, there's not much to say, but yeah, it's very effective and uh, it, it, it is being used widely and it's a very simple function. So definitely take a look at uh, the previous video. Try to run everything on your own. The code is open source and uh, see you in the next video.